so starting off here at the parking structure, you can see that they've finished a lot of the paving. So that's really cool, that's all done. Uh, it looks like they're working on some over on this side. So just finishing up this. It is a holiday weekend, I'm filming this a little bit earlier. So uh, a lot of the construction workers are not here today. Looks like they've also finished the roof on top of this big canopy piece right here. And you can see uh, really closely that they've installed some gating. So that green kind of uh, metal that we've been seeing underneath this is probably gonna be for the new fencing and gates that are gonna be going in underneath the parking structure. And then at the top of the parking structure, you can see that they've added a lot of uh, greenery. So these will go on that big trellis structure. And then over time they'll grow and it'll look really pretty once it all grows in. You can also see in the distance that they've taken off the sheeting on this tile work right here. So that looks really nice. They've also taken it off of this one as well. So this whole area is starting to shape up and they've been adding more greenery and continue to paving. Uh, that's honestly the hardest part is just the paving of this entire area. So once they finish this, I'm sure they'll move the construction wall a little bit and then start working on this part while guests are kind of circulating through here. Uh, not necessarily meaning that this is gonna open, but they'll just have people walk through this. So across the street going into downtown Disney, here's the current progress on the pedestrian bridge walkway that's going down over towards the monorail station. I can't wait for that to open because it's going to be nice to walk because I like walking to the park instead of taking the tram. The tram just takes way too long sometimes, so um, having this open is going to be nice. I wonder if they're going to have moving walkways though like they do in Orlando at Universal Studios. Um, Universal Studios Orlando has a moving walkway on their like big pedestrian bridge and it's pretty nice, so I wonder if Disney will do the same thing here. By the way, this fence is like really tiny. Surprised it's not taller. So you can see like right into it. And then here is the concrete that's already cured uh, for this side. So that's pretty cool. Looks like they have some uh, piping for electrical going in right there too. Again, that's gonna be really cool when it's done. I can't wait. I just wonder like if they're gonna redo the monorail station and that's gonna be like a new entrance or if this will just be a side entrance to downtown Disney. Over here at Downtown Disney, Sugar Boo & Co. is now open. And it's a cool little shop. They got a bunch of little like trinkets and stuff in there. And a lot of little like quote uh, pictures and banners. So we'll go ahead and go inside and take a little look real quick. See so yeah, they just have a bunch of cool little knickknacks and trinkets here and there. Um, it's kind of like it reminds me of a Z Gallery. That's what it kind of reminds me of mixed with like a trendy kind of... Uh, I don't even know. It's It's got a different feel to it as well but uh yeah there's a couple cool little things in here honestly this store kind of reminds me of uh an anthropology so if you've ever been to anthropology it's it's got those vibes in it as well <laughs> once again over here at blacktop they have an enormous line so keep this in mind if you're uh, vacationing here if you want to check this out you gotta come here early all right, we are inside a Disney California Adventure now, so how about we take a look at the Emotional Whirlwind attraction on Pixar Pier and see what the progress is this week. Yay, the Green Army Men are out. The Go Fury Break, and come and join the Just follow the They are pretty awesome. You know, they're also 100% recyclable. And some good news over here at California Adventure, Silly Symphony Swings is back open. So if you missed that ride, don't worry, it's back open for your enjoyment. Over here at the Emotional Whirlwind, uh, not much has changed since the last video. So I wonder if they're mostly just working on the ground level stuff. They did put up this construction wall right here. Oh, let's wait. Anyways, they did put up this construction wall right here and they blocked that off. So I don't, I don't wonder what they're working on over here. I'm not really sure. Um, and then this uh, wall right here is still not permanent. So I'm sure they'll address that in the next couple weeks. It's a little hard to tell because of the weather, but you can see that they've painted all the little accent colors on the coaster purple. So uh, each section now has its own color. So over by the Incredit coaster, it's all red. Over here, it's purple. And then I think in the middle, it's the gold or blue. Um, so that's pretty neat. That's a nice little touch. But uh, the colors in general are really nice over here. It's nice to see a vibrant attraction in the spot versus the old Malibu attraction that used to stay here. It was just kind of dull. So these really good rainbow colors are nice to see. Over here at the Spider-Man attraction, looks like the structural steel that they put up in the last video is still the same. Again, all the construction crews are probably off for the holiday because I'm here on Sunday uh, because I was gonna be a little bit busy on Monday. 
But uh, yeah, so the same from the last video, not much to see. And unfortunately I can't get a view from the Pixar, the Pixar Pal around just because the line was like 18 hours long. And then here's one more angle of the project. So you can see it, it looks like they're gonna cap it out right here. That's about as tall as it's gonna go. Cause in the concept art, you can still see the Guardians of the Galaxy Tower. So it looks like they'll go ahead and cap it out right here and right here. I'm not really sure what this structure is. So I'm sure uh, we'll find out very, very soon once they build more of this out. But it's uh, pretty good progress. I'm excited. I can't wait for it to open next year. And then last but not least, before we head over to Disneyland, if you miss Soaring Over California, don't worry because during the month of June, they're gonna bring back Soaring Over California and leave Soaring Around the World on hiatus just for the month. And this is probably because uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is opening up on the 31st of this month and it's gonna be incredibly crowded. So it's gonna be nice for them to offer some different things over here at California Adventure to keep crowds uh, entertained on this side. So if you're a fan of Soaring Over California, it will be back for the month of June. But that is for a limited time. After June, it'll go back to soaring around the world. Over here at the Mad Hatter, they've taken down all of the scaffolding and exposed the new paint job. This looks really nice. It's very vibrant and in person, it looks fantastic. So it's nice to see all the construction complete for the summer and everything looking beautiful. All right, and then over here by Coat Corner on Main Street, you can tell you can totally see they've shaved off this side of the wall. This looks so much better now and it's probably gonna ease up congestion so much now that this is completely open. I like that, they should have done that a long time ago. Main Street USA has totally gone digital now. So they have a wait time board here and it updates with the new uh, attraction wait times, which is extremely convenient. And they actually made it look uh, pretty nice. So it fits in with Main Street uh, really nicely. But this is nice to have a digital version instead of having the cast members change out the times all the time. So it'll just update automatically. It's also double-sided, so it shows even more attractions and it shows the show times, which is very convenient. All right, now that all the walls are completely down, you can walk through the castle again, and boy, is it vibrant in person. It looks so good in person. I know a lot of people were kind of scared about the coloring on this, but yeah, the pictures and videos don't do this justice. It's so pretty in person. I love it. It's unfortunate that we have this kind of weird weather going on in Southern California right now, but I would imagine on a sunny day that this is even more vibrant. It looks great. They did a fantastic job, and they added these gold... Uh, banners, gold and blue banners all the way leading up through the castle. And then on the left side of the castle, they've completely taken down the construction wall. And I gotta say, and it, when you're here in person, it's just so open and it looks fantastic now that they've taken all the walls down and opened up the space even more. They've shaved back the planter just slightly and they've eliminated the curb. So there's so much more space and it's so easier, so much easier now to navigate to the other lands. Oh, hello, horsey. So walking into Adventureland, they did make this planter uh, smaller, ever so slightly though, your average guest is not gonna notice. And they also did the same on this side as well. But there is the new Adventureland sign. So let's walk a little closer here. And uh, it looks great. They've added more decorations to it too, since I've seen it on uh, the internet. And I know a lot of people were really worried about this, but if you guys remember, this is what it looks uh, used to look like uh, back in the day when this park opened up. So this is like old school. Adventureland sign and it looks fantastic in person as well. So the tiki torches on the side here They've added uh, some decorations. They've added the tiki guy on top and ooh, It looks like they finished their rock work over here, too before this was covered up with uh, Construction walls, so it looks like all they have to do now is just kind of match it with this with this color because this looks like it's just been primed and then they're just gonna paint it with this color, but yeah, it looks great. Yeah, every time I look at this, this is just great. But let's go ahead and head over to Tomorrowland so we can go check out what's going on over there. So over here in Tomorrowland, looks like they've completed all the painting on the new Pizza Planet uh, quick service place. So this looks really cool in person, I like this. And uh, again, the rocket looks really nice. I think I showed that in my last video. But they are just missing the, the sign. So the marketing, I'm sure, is just backstage somewhere. I'm sure it's somewhere back here. But that's all they gotta put up and then it'll be complete. Okay, so like right off the bat, they made this so much nicer. So uh, they didn't change like the paint scheme or anything like that. What they did change is they got rid of this giant like island for trays and they also got rid of the giant soda island. So now it's just a simple little one for napkins and trays. And then over here on the corner, they have a little Pizza Planet slushy machine. So they got the strawberry and orange flavors. Uh, this is empty for right now, but I'm sure they'll utilize this later. They have the normal stations, 
But let's see where you can get, oh, the drinks are over there now. Okay, so let's go walk over there so I can show you guys what that looks like. All right, so this is the new drink station. So you're gonna just come over here on towards the left and you can get all your fountain drinks this way. So that's really cool. And they have a lot of selection too. They've also taken uh, the walls down by the Tomorrowland Theater and it looks like they've kind of opened up the space a little bit and they've uh, shaved off the planters ever so slightly, especially over here near the entrance of Space Mountain. And then especially over here, they've completely like reworked this section. But we're gonna go check out the Toy Story 4 preview. It's an exclusive sneak peek. Don't really know how long this is gonna be here for. And it looks like this is gonna be the new theater they use for all their sneak peeks. Well, I think that's gonna do it for today's Disneyland update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button because I have brand new videos every single week and you won't wanna miss out. Other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.